Hey guys, I've got one of these Logitech MX Masters here. I've had it for about a week and I have to say it's a fantastic mouse. Uh, my favorite feature is what they call Smart Shift and well it's hard to explain without feeling it but basically the scroll wheel has the normal kind of ratcheting clicky feel to it but as soon as you flick the wheel quickly the ratcheting disengages and it kind of free spins which means scrolling long distances is really easy and fluid. Anyways, just a few days after getting it that feature stopped working felt kind of stuck between ratcheting and freewheeling. So I looked around and it seems to be a common problem, which is a bummer because I really like this mouse. So anyways, I'm going to take it apart and we'll look at the mechanism and actually the fix is really easy. The only kind of special tool you need is a Torx T5 driver for these two screws up here. Otherwise there are four Phillips screwdrivers underneath the pads right here, 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 and here. So let me, uh, let me pull this thing apart. Now these pads are stuck on pretty well, so they're kind of a pain. Get a, uh, <clears throat> really very sticky. Don't want to wreck them either, but it's the only way to get in there. There's one of the Phillips. Number two. So with all six screws out, I'm gonna kind of put these pads back on here. <coughs> the whole top just kind of pulls off. And the only thing connecting the two halves is uh, this one ribbon cable here. So I'm gonna leave that attached for now. So here's a scroll wheel and the mechanism that does a smart shift feature uh, really is this lever right here. So you can see if I pull this lever up, the scroll wheel becomes loose. This is the free spinning mode. If I kind of push it down a little bit, maybe you can hear that here's like a real ratcheting action happening. And the thing that actually moves the lever is this kind of little tiny half circle piece right here, which is attached to a motor down here. The motor actually spins this piece from one position to another and that kind of pushes this up or lets it return back down. Now what I found is that as the motor returns this piece, it sometimes overshoots and gets stuck. And you can kind of see now that uh, the half circle kind of points off into this direction like that, uh, which is not supposed to happen. It's actually overshot. It's supposed to kind of line up horizontally like this. So here you can see that that little half circle piece is kind of connected to this disc right here, which is on the motor. And it turns out that whole disc assembly on the shaft of the motor kind of works its way up over time and uh, works its way up so far that it kind of starts missing the stops when it goes from one mode to the next. And so the fix is really easy. You just have to push this whole thing back down in its, into its normal position. So I'm just gonna hold the lever open a little bit and you might see this, I'll push it down. Here it goes. So now with that pushed down, it won't overshoot and here it is actually working. You can see that that piece, this guy right here kind of spins. Uh, it happens really fast, so you can't really see it actually spin, but this is the ratcheting mode. and then I'll press the mode shift button and it kind of spun around. So now it's pushing on this lever. See the half circle is facing this direction now. And now the scroll wheel spins freely. And here's how it works with the smart shift mode. You can see that if I scroll really fast, it actually shifts into the free spinning mode and shifts back when you stop. It takes a while to get used to, but I really like it. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody fix their Logitech MX Master mouse. Um, now, one thing I don't know is if that will just happen again after another five days, but at least uh, it's not hard to get open and get in there and fix it. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.